friends, it's Govan Kilgore here. I'm off to the, I believe it's some sort of greenhouse up at the Guelph University here. And there's some special plant that only blooms once a year. There's my phone going off, so I'm in a meeting. And uh, it's apparently the, one of the most stinkiest plants in the world too when it blooms. It's supposed to smell like a rotting dead corpse. So, I'm going to show you guys the plant. It's, I think it's the biggest flower in the world. I think there's some sort of special greenhouse because that doesn't make sense that it would be native to this area. It must be some sort of tropical thing. And uh, I'll show you guys my reaction to the horrific smell. Yeah, so yeah. Oh, okay. so, yeah. It's queen, right? It doesn't smell too bad actually, but the uh, uh, flowers mostly closed up. It's not totally closed yet, you can still see in it. And it got pollinated pretty quick, so that's why it closed so quickly. It's usually open for I think one or two days. But uh, yeah, it's going to just last a few hours, but it's still pretty neat to see. It's still huge. I believe, but I appreciate the quality at the end. Oops. Yeah. How much do you have? I have eight. Yeah, it's really. This is a Titan Arum corpse plant. Let's see. Okay, so it starts here. It's a tuber. Grows a shoot, comes this. Oh, I don't get which. Oh, maybe this is the second cycle. I think it starts here. It becomes this big flower, flowers, and closes up. And then these seeds then make the another plant or something. It's a strange plant. <laughs> One. This one is the Oh, this one. is it. Oh. oh, right, okay. So, so then does it start to lose all of this? Or? Yeah, and then it'll either start oh, again. Oh, and it switches it back to the flower after yeah. being a tree. Oh, wow. So that's kind of awesome. Okay, that makes sense. So it has two different states a flower and a tree all in one. You can see, in comparison to my height, it's just slightly taller. And I'll go show you the flower in comparison. It's about the same height, maybe a little taller just because it's in a higher box. We have some snake plants in here. I love these guys. I wonder how much I can actually recognize in here. I think this is a fig tree. We used to have one of these in our house growing up, but it was smaller. Oh no, it's not a fig tree. Fig trees have the funny shaped leaves. But it is something I recognize. <laughs> Just no idea what it is. It's like a friggin' jungle in here. More snake. Plants or mother in law's tongue. These are amazing. Whoa. This is like something from prehistoric dinosaur times. Fiddleback fig. 
Okay, so that this one here is a fig tree of some sort. Doesn't look like a fig tree, but I think that's prickly pear cactus maybe. Oh, is that an agave plant? This big spiky thing. I think so. That, yeah, it looks like agave. It's cool to have one here. And that's a oh, golden barrel cactus. What are all these things on the ground? Oh, this is some sort of type of aloe vera. Well, the plant was interesting. It didn't smell that bad. <laughs> but uh, it's still fun to see. And if I can get the footage, I'll show you guys the, what's it called? The stop motion video of it opening and then closing it because there was cameras that they had trained on it. So if not, then I'll just show you a picture from somewhere online of what it looks like when it's open.